was I doing? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, this is something I like to do. I find it a more of an intimate sound. I wasn't playing anything too crazy, but um, what I'm doing, if we look at stripping down a chord shape, for instance, uh, this is in the key of D major. I will put the chords of D major here. All right. It's all right, I'm an idiot. Anyway, uh, so the idea is instead of like, if we look at like bar chords, for instance, if I play, um, or not, the, not all bar chords, but most of them will be bar chords at this point. Uh, so what I was playing was like a B minor, finish up half the finished, D major, there's my uh, tonic, and then F sharp minor, then where did I go? Um, D major again, and then I went to an A suspended, and then I went to an A altered, just to get a bit weird, and then a D major 9. The last few chords aren't really what I'm talking about, that was just because that's what I wrote. Um, but the idea, if we look at this, this shape, all I was doing was I was taking off the pinky, I was literally just playing these three notes. Root note, the fifth and the third. Spread triads if you want to look into them a bit more. I'm not going to go super deep into it, just to show you what, you know, how to make cool noises on this weird thing. Um, so the idea, if I go through the key properly, each note can go up one note in the uh, scale. That's the note, that's the next thing for the D, uh, sorry, C sharp half diminished, but I don't like the flat five in there for the sound that I was going for. So I just took that note up another note within the scale. So you get this, you get a bit of a, you get too much tension with that sound and that's not what I was going for. You can use tension if you want, whatever, do what you want. But that's the idea. So now I'm kind of looking at this as a B minor, C sharp minor, sharp five or flat six, whatever you want to call it. And then the major shape, one, uh, five, major three. And then I did the F sharp minor. I, again, I did, I like this sharpening of the fifth. And also it's a voice leading thing because the next chord was a G major. So it has the same note in it rather than this. I decided to change it to to that. Uh, I also in this position just because I wanted to get that that hammer on. You can either do it with another finger or you can bar. I prefer it actually with the finger now that I do that, but not in that position. That's not, that's not as nice. So it's the same concept. And don't look at this like it's a seventh chord, because that, that is a seventh shape. But I'm not playing the G string, so it's a major triad. Uh, same concept, once again not playing the third string, so it's a D major. And then I did that funky little A suspended, I'm not using that form. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I missed out one a little bit, but I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> so, I generally am following my ears, so I'm not, when I do this sort of thing, I'm not strictly sticking to, oh, I have to play the one, five, and three. I'm trying to make music, so uh, screw the rules. Um, but just this sound, stripping down a chord, it's like when we strip down, um, you know, a bar chord to a power chord. It's the same concept, but you're putting in the, the major or minor third as well, and maybe altering the fifth, depending on the sound you're going for. The other two shapes I used, that's going from a D to a G. Often we'll take the D, we'll change the root note to an F sharp, 
up in the bottom, open fourth string for the D, and then I'm holding the A. Then I'm keeping it like this, so I've got root note, major third, and the open D string in this case is the fifth. So that's the idea, that's the concept. Taking smaller, smaller bite-sized chords, and I find these sound a bit more intimate. I don't know if that's really the word that I want to use. But um, you can strum them if you want. You've just got to make sure that you're, you're muting the right strings. Um, yeah, I prefer with fingers, but it's just another sound. It's another technique. Anyway, that's it. Short and sweet. Try and rip down your bar chords, even if you play a two-note version. I was just with a student, and we were talking about this stuff. If I do, oh, what was I? Whatever, sounds cool, man. Give that a rest and try and try and get a bit sexy with this guitar playing. All right, that's it. I'm going to have coffee and have a good week and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Cheers. I'm going to play the same thing again because I like it. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, anyway, whatever. See ya.